On my phone, I keep a list of projects that I want to make and the list just tends to get longer and longer. And whenever I have any spare time, I check the list and whatever excites me the most is what I make. The couple of projects on the list that excite me the most at the moment require a large compass. And I don't own one of those, so I thought about buying one, but then I figured it would be easy enough to design and make one. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I looked through my scrap pile and found a piece of what I think is ash which measured 600mm in length and 27mm square. I'd start by drilling a hole for the pencil and using calipers I measured the width of a pencil at 7mm. I drilled a 7mm hole but that was a bit tight so I came back with an 8mm bit and then the pencil could slide in place. I raised the blade on my table saw and then moved the fence so that the workpiece was centred to the blade and made a cut through the hole and a little bit further. I rotated the workpiece in between cuts to make sure that the slot was even on both sides. Then I gave it a squeeze by hand just to check how much flex there was as this part would be the clamping part to hold the pencil in place and it seemed fine. I needed an M8 bolt next and unfortunately I didn't have any in the shop. But I did have some M8 threaded rod so I used that instead. I just needed to cut it to length with an angle grinder. This heats the metal up quite a lot so I used some water to cool it down. I rounded over each end of the short piece of rod on my bench grinder to remove the burrs. This made the wing nuts screw on really easily. Next I marked up where to drill a hole for the rod and I drilled this with an 8mm bit too. I could then add the rod and a washer and wing nut to each end. I tested this out with a pencil inside and it cinched it down nicely. Then it was back to the scrap pile and this time I pulled out a small piece of oak to use for the adjustable part of the compass which would hold the pin. I marked around the end of the bar of the compass onto the centre of the oak piece and used a 25mm Forstner bit to remove most of the material inside the pencil marks. Then I drilled some small holes in the corners of the square and removed the rest of the material with chisels. and the adjustable part could then slot nicely onto the bar of the compass. This piece needed a hole for a piece of threaded rod too. I drilled this one using the pillar drill because the piece of oak I used was quite thin and I wasn't confident enough to drill the hole by hand in case I didn't get it straight enough, but the pillar drill did a perfect job. Then at the table saw I could make a relief cut along the centre of the piece of oak into the square hole. I added another piece of rod, washers and wing nuts so that the piece of oak could be cinched securely onto the bar of the compass and that worked well too. Next I marked up a pointed shape for the piece of oak where the pin would be added. I used a speed square to mark up the shape and cut it out on the bandsaw. I used the bench sander to clean off those bandsaw cuts. I used a nail to create the pin of the compass. I first shaped the head of the nail into a point on the bench grinder. Then I drilled a pilot hole slightly smaller than the thickness of the nail, added some super glue and hammered the nail in the hole. I could then shape the other end of the nail to form a compass point. I used my block plane to ease over the sharp edges of the bar of the compass to make it more comfortable to hold, and then I did some final sanding. I decided to add some measurement markings to the bar of the compass using a black pen. I first marked up where the centre of the pencil point was, then using calipers I measured up the distance between the pin of the compass and the face of the adjustable oak piece which measured just over 7mm. 
This gave me a distance to offset my ruler by, so I lined up just over 7mm on the ruler with the mark representing the centre of the pencil, and then made marks down the length of the bar at 50mm intervals. I used a small square to mark up a line at each of those marks. Then I wrote on the measurements, with radius at the top and diameter at the bottom. On the opposite side of the bar to the measurements, I added my maker's mark. I used spray varnish to seal the ink and protect the wood. I gave the pieces three coats in total, denibbing in between each coat with some 600 grit wet and dry paper. When the varnish was dry, I added some clear brie wax with a cotton cloth. And after a few hours, I buffed out the wax with another clean cloth. I added the wax because I think it'll make the adjustable part of the compass slide nicer along the bar. Finally, I could then add the rod, washers and wing nuts again and try out the compass for the first time. So I set the compass to 200mm radius or 400mm diameter and drew a circle. Then I used a tape measure to validate that the measurement markings were correct. This was a very quick project. It took under two hours in total and it was made entirely from scraps that I had in the workshop. And I think it's going to be really useful in future projects. If you're a subscriber, you'll probably see it in future videos. Thanks for watching.